everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day and there's no question at this point now that Thanksgiving is behind us we are in the Christmas season. We definitely are and it's so strange. It seems like we just did a show talking about how warm the weather was mm -hmm. and all of that and now we're getting ready for Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, we're going to show you some things today that could be the most perfect Christmas present ever. We were just talking about that a minute Absolutely. ago. Absolutely. There is no better gift than the new house. There you go. <laughs> we're going to give you some options uh, and then uh, you can decide for yourself if that's something that you want to do. Uh, the first one, actually, let's talk about a commercial location that mm -hmm. you guys have, and this is in Johnson County. It is, and if you're looking, there's just one picture on this listing, so if you're looking at the pictures as they rotate, it is the same picture, but mm -hmm. it is a very impressive picture because this picture shows 350 acres of land without any restrictions in the Johnson County area. Right, and then it's commercial property, uh, but when you say you have over 1,700 feet of highway frontage on US 23. Anybody who understands anything about commercial property, you're gonna, your attention is definitely, your interest is peaked. Absolutely, and the great thing about this is, yes, it's commercial location, but with this kind of acreage, you can do commercial, you can do a residential subdivision, you can mm -hmm. look at, there are so many options with what you could do with this property. You can tell from the picture, there's a lot of it that's very, very usable land. So anything that you would have you know, in that area that you wanna put in Johnson County, this is a property definitely to consider. And we say Johnson County, we're only two miles past the Paintsville city limits. And this is a really popular location because like you said, you're just outside of Paintsville. You're not yet into uh, Lawrence County or anything, but you mm -hmm. are very conveniently located. So it's another one of those properties that if you have somebody that works in Floyd County, somebody else works in Lawrence County or towards the mm -hmm. Ashland area, this is a great location. Right, and we said again, 350 acres. It's listed as commercial, but there is there is so much space that you can put an entire subdivision in there. But this is one, I'm assuming there are signs out by US 23? There are, absolutely. This is one that will be very easy to find, but if you want to actually take an agent out there, mm -hmm. somebody would be more than happy to meet you at the property, give you more detail, and um, you can just call our Paintsville office to get that set up. All right, let's give that Paintsville office number. Okay, that number is 606-789-811. Okay. Now the next one is also out of the Paintsville office, but let's get back into residential. Now this is a home for sale. It is. This is a house for sale and this is on Court Street in Paintsville. If you're familiar with downtown Paintsville at mm -hmm. all, extremely convenient location. You are um, right off 3rd Street. You turn on to Court Street. You're very close to Paintsville Elementary, very close to Our Lady of the Mountain School um, in that area. This is one that in downtown Paintsville you've got everything within walking distance. Absolutely, you really do. Shopping, restaurants, schools, mm -hmm. anything that you could want to get to, absolutely. All right, now this one is three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It was built in 1950, so this is one you're gonna get the charm with. Absolutely, and you can actually tell um, through the pictures, you've kind of got that um, 1950s kind of Cape Cod style mm -hmm. house to it. Um, but this is one, it's been very well maintained. They've got a den, a living room, a kitchen, a sitting area. It's got all those extra spaces, you know, with the older style home. So this is one that really has a lot of potential if you need an office space or if you need two living areas, mm -hmm. something like that, this has the opportunity for that. And this is one of those that people are scratching their heads by looking at the pictures. This is one of those listings where you're going to have to go in and literally see it to appreciate this space. Absolutely. And it does have um, off-street parking, which mm -hmm. is a big plus in this area, and a one-car detached garage. This part of, of Paintsville, downtown Paintsville, you don't see that a lot. Some of the homes have where you have to park in front of the home on mm -hmm. the street. So this one actually uh, affords some off-street parking. Absolutely. All right, the price on this one is 100000 It's been reduced, so you know right off the bat you've got a motivated seller. Uh, so hopefully, if this is something you're in the market for, you can give the Paintsville office number a call. But we just gave that a minute ago, so let's give the website so people can see everything that Red Brennan Williams has to offer. Okay, the website is rbandw.com. 
Okay. Now for the next listing, we're literally just going to go down the street mm -hmm. from this one. Uh, this one is also on Court Street. It is. This one, you're going to go all the way to the end of Court Street, and you're actually going to take a left on Twin Oak, Twin Oak Drive. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit different address, but technically you're still right there on Court Street. Um, but it is a great location. The awesome thing about this one is you have all the convenience that you did you know, with the other house, but this one is a very private location. You kind of go back there to the end, mm -hmm. you take that left, so you have a private yard, you have a private um, home location. Very few people even know that this home is back there. Right, um, and you, you know, you're looking at two acres of property, mm -hmm. which you don't see very often when you can technically say this home is in downtown Paintsville, but it sits on two acres and it's a private location. Uh, so, and, and the home is a large home, you're looking at nearly 3,300 square feet, and that's above grade. Mm -hmm. uh, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. This is a ton of space in this home. It is, and this one has uh, it's the basement is all finished, has mm -hmm. a fireplace, family room, living room with another fireplace, has a huge uh, workshop, two car garage. So if you have hobbies, if you need extra space for some kind of, you know, you work out of your home mm -hmm. or something like that, this one has that kind of space. Now this is one that you need to schedule to actually go and see this piece of property. Um, I'm assuming there's a sign out there, but it's kind of private where it's located, so you probably recommend somebody go with you for a showing on this one. Absolutely. This is one that I would recommend setting up a showing. Mm -hmm. So if you have an interest in seeing it, this is Teresa Preston's listing. She's out of Paintsville, and you can call her at 205-7890. Okay. Now, moving back toward Pike County, we'll, we'll show a couple of, of your personal listings. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is one in the Middle Bowls edition on Cedar Drive. Yes, this one sits very convenient in Pikeville. Um, it's in the Middle Bowls edition, if you're familiar with that area, right off 23, extremely convenient to downtown. But the great thing is this gives you that old neighborhood feel that is really so popular, especially if you've got kids or anything. This is a great area. And then the house itself, offer so many um, opportunities depending on what you're looking for. The great thing about this one and what I think is going to end up selling it, you've got a master bedroom and two bedrooms mm -hmm. on the second floor, but you also have a master bedroom set up on the first floor. So it could be a guest bedroom with a full bath, mm -hmm. or it could be if you have an in-law, a mother-in-law suite, it kind of blocks off itself. So it gives you the opportunity to have those two master suites if need be. And then even if they're not living with you full time, you know, we talked about mm -hmm. we're in the middle of the holidays and people will come in for a week or two at a time. This gives them the illusion of having their own space within your house. So it's also great for that. Right, and this one, ha it sits on nearly half an acre, which you don't find a lot in neighborhoods, mm -hmm. but you can tell by that front picture, this one has a large, uh, large front yard, which actually you can see from US 23. If you're going north on US 23, you can look over to the right as you go over the Bowles Edition, and this one's right over there. Yes, you can see it very easily, and you can also kind of tell it's got a really nice size backyard. If you wanted a pool, plenty of room for mm -hmm. a pool. has a really pretty brick patio out back, perfect for entertaining or anything like that. And you can see the hardwood flooring in the kitchen. I love that kitchen view because you've got the recessed lighting. It mm -hmm. looks like they've got all the updates, the countertops and things like that. Absolutely. They've put a lot of time and effort into the updates that they've done. Like you said, the hardwood flooring, the granite countertops, um, they've got the living room, which is not a picture that's shown, with a uh, really pretty fireplace. So they have all those um, updates in there. And this is one of those listings where we're limited to four photos mm -hmm. and you're like, this is one I wish I had room for 10. Absolutely. I'd show them all. <laughs> right. This is one definitely that we want to get a hold of Jennifer uh, to get your showing scheduled on this one. This is your listing. It is. This is my listing, so you're more than welcome to call the Pockville office to set up a showing. That number is 606-437-2333. Uh, the price on this one, for everything you're getting, 449000 So the neighborhood, the setting, the home, everything, uh, if that's the market that you're in, definitely give Jennifer a call and she'll get you scheduled to, to take a look at this one. Like you said, a lot of selling points in that home. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Now we'll end the show with a few other um, options for residential, but these are, these are basically blank slates. This is a land and lots for sale. Yes, we thought it would be better to kind of merge them all into one just because mm -hmm. it's harder to 
spend time on land. So we're going to go kind of fast, and then there's pictures for each of these. Um, we have one that is a brand new listing. Mm -hmm. This is on Deskins Hollow. It is listed at 555 and it is a half acre. Right. Now this one, for those of you who are not sure where this is, Deskins Hollow is in one of the fastest growing areas of Pikeville, mm -hmm. around the Pikeville Commons area. So you've got all the shopping and the dining, and that area just continues to grow. Absolutely. It's a very convenient location right now. So this is a great location, and like you said, in one of the fastest growing areas in town. Right. Now this one, you just cross the railroad tracks there. Uh, and it's behind there. You've got a sign up, I'm assuming, but this is one that's kind of complicated, so uh, give you a call and you can bring them out and show them. Absolutely. We've got maps at the office. If anybody is seriously looking in that area, just mm -hmm. give us a call. We can send you all the information. Okay. Now, the next um, is another popular area, and that's in mm -hmm. Cedar Creek. This is Phase 7. It is. This is the lots that we have left in Phase 7. Mm -hmm. So we, we actually had the entire subdivision listed at one time. We've got about half, a little less than half, um, left available. So if you're looking to build, this is a great location. You're right up past Cedar Creek Assisted Living up on the hill. And uh, we have lots, they range from about a half acre to a little over an acre. And then we also have prices ranging from the 87 thousand range mm -hmm. up to right over a hundred thousand dollars so this is one there's a lot of difference in some of these lots but if that's the area you want definitely call us and we can give you specifics on individual lots and I personally love this area because Cedar Creek in in general is a popular area but mm -hmm. this one is kind of sits above it and back in the woods so you're getting that convenience to Pikeville and, and all of that but yet you've got a private setting exactly all right now, the next one, we've got some lots on Tolly Lane. Now, this is between, I guess, right around the line of where Pikeville becomes Coal Run Village. Yeah. Uh, behind Ray Jones Law Office. It's that whole area back there. Correct. You're technically in Coal Run, like you said. Mm -hmm. We've got two lots left back there. You probably will not even know this is back there. We do have signs right there on US 23. So if you've seen the signs, you know, one day if you're looking for a lot, mm -hmm. turn up in there and look. It's absolutely a beautiful hollow. They only divided it up into a couple lots. So it's not going to be house on top of house. You've mm -hmm. got space. A lot of them are really big and um, the, the yards are big. So you've got two lots. Uh, one of them is a little under an acre, one is just over an acre. They are $80,000 each, and again, it's just a great location and something that if you aren't familiar with it, definitely take a look. Right, if you're in the market to spend uh, $100,000 on a piece of property, definitely give you a look because mm -hmm. you're not, like Jennifer said, you're not going to realize they're back there, but they're so convenient to Pikeville, Coal Run. Um, but yet you're you're getting all of that space. Exactly. Okay, so all of these are out of the Pikeville office, correct? Mm -hmm. So let's give your Pikeville office number. That number is 606-437-2333. And as we said earlier in the show, we gave the website, and that's rbandw.com. Um, anything they have and more are out mm -hmm. there. So if any of these are kind of in the market that you're for and you want to look at more options, you guys definitely have those because you have four offices. We do. We have four offices, and any of our agents are more than willing to help. Okay. Now, as we mentioned in the beginning of the show, it is uh, Christmas season, and you've got some <laughs> tips. So if you have your house listed, Jennifer's going to tell you, you need to think about decluttering. So I'm going to step out now and let her talk about that. Listing your home during the holiday season can be even more stressful than typical. Anytime you list, there are a couple things to keep in mind, but some are especially important during the holidays. First, Try to keep your house ready or almost ready so that anytime showings are scheduled, you're prepared. Second, remember to declutter. During the holidays, we tend to pack in the gifts and decorations, but also remember that a potential buyer needs to be able to see the home and walk through easily. Thirdly, we all know around the holiday season, the weather is very unpredictable. So take precautions to keep exterior walks, driveways, and steps safe and clear for any potential showings that may occur. And as always, the agents of Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Services would be honored to assist you with listing your property. Just give one of our four offices a call. Thank you for joining us for another episode. See you again soon.